Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made these really cool yellow gold geode coasters. These are kind of a remake of my sunflower coasters and I'll link that video in the description so you guys can see how well I did at a remake. I didn't have this glitter before though. This is the starlight glitter from Laura's Art Corner. This is my satin white acrylic paint and um, gold leaf pinata white alcohol ink and my dandelion yellow mica powder was the first one all of that is the same from the other coaster set though so I think I did a pretty good job of remaking them so today in these coasters I'm using stone coat resin it's the regular stone coat countertop resin and if you guys want to check out any of the materials that I'm using you can find them in the description below under the materials list so you guys see the little paintings behind the coasters here. I always have people ask about the stuff I have behind. So that's what the picture was at the beginning of the three little paintings. These are some little sea creature space paintings I've been doing. Um, my favorite right now is the little hammerhead. He's the coolest. He's the one directly behind my coaster set. I threw in a little video at the end of these little paintings if you guys wanted to see them a little bit closer. So as you can see right now I'm just putting in my gold leaf and it's just mixed with some clear and on that last coaster I did I think I had a little bit too much yellow on my spoon so I'm going to like just add some extra gold leaf into that one so it looks um, more like all the rest. And I'm putting in the dandelion right now. I used very, very little of the mica powder because I really wanted it to be more of a clear color, just with like a yellow tint, I guess. And then the white is like two drops of the pinata ink and a drop or two of the satin white acrylic paint. And now I'm putting in the starlight glitter. And the glitter is going to sink um, to the bottom, so it's going to look super pretty coming uh, up behind that yellow when you take them out of the mold. And these are the back of the coasters that you can see now. So the side that's down is the side that I mean to be the front. And now I'm just filling the coasters, and I wanted to add a little bit more white, so it's a little more of a bright white color. So I'm just going to use a toothpick to make the little designs in these and then I'll hit it with a little bit of heat from my torch and use the toothpick again to do the design again after I heat it. And I'm adding more gold leaf now. I'm going to add some gold leaf straight from the bag here in a second um, just to fill up the one that has a little bit of yellow in it. And right now I'm really just trying to fill up the mold completely because I'm not going to be doing a top coat on these. After these come out of their molds, all I'm going to do to them is sand the edges where it's really sharp just to sand them down. Then I'm going to put little clear bumper feet on the back of them and that is it. They'll be ready to go. Um, I don't have the little bumper feet. They're actually coming in the mail so you guys won't get to see that in this video. But if you watch my ocean coaster video, I do show the process of like where I put my bumper feet and all that. And they will be linked in the description below in the materials so you can check those out if you want. So right now I'm just kind of showing you guys taking them out of the mold up close. And then I'll also show you guys outside too so you can see what they look like. I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. I just like the way the white looks. That's kind of like my favorite thing to do is have like white and clear and do all like the really cool designs. And that's why I like to do like the little bit of ink and the little bit of acrylic. I just like the way it flows in the ink. So um, I wanted to let you guys know I did start a Facebook art group and all art is welcome and anybody can post their art there and it's going to be linked in the description you guys should come and check it out I'm going to be posting a lot of my stuff early and also updates on bigger projects that I'm doing speaking of that the geode that I'm working on I should actually be ready to show you guys in like a week I'm really excited I think I'm going to be starting it tonight 
So here they are out in the sunlight, and I'm going to get some close-up of those wispy little white pieces. So this set is already sold, um, but if you guys want to check out some of the stuff I do have, I do have a new Etsy shop open. It's going to be linked in the description, of course. And um, if you guys want to check it out, I have a lot of my coasters on there now. That starlight glitter looks so beautiful with the yellow. I would like to know your guys' opinion because at first I'm not sure about it just because it's yellow. But I think that it looks really cool. And I think that I just am in love with that starlight glitter. That's the glitter from Laura's Art Corner. You guys should definitely check her glitters out. They are pretty awesome. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more artwork. If you guys want to see the three little mini sea creature paintings, they're going to be coming up in just a second. And I will catch you all later. Have a great day. Bye.